I, I feel like sometimes they, uh, when people write me, they want like a special, um, a magic potion, you know, like a, a magic equation to, to be successful. And I don't think there's one, you know. Um, but what is like, 100% true is that you have to work, 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 and um, it's not like, oh, I did a print and now I'm gonna share it everywhere and I'm just gonna stay there, you know, with two prints, with some job that you, that you did. It's like a constant um, work in progress, you know, it's like an everyday, um, you know, practicing, discovering yourself. Um, experimenting My name is Maria. I'm originally from Venezuela in Latin America and I've been living in Spain for the last 12 years um, in Barcelona for the last five years. Um, I come from a background on, in graphic design and I have two master's degrees in, here in Spain, one in illustration and one in surface design. So right now I'm working as a surface designer and a watercolor artist. And when I was in college, I started um, illustrating, illustrating and I fell in love with uh, with this technique, the watercolor. So I was looking for like um, a combination of my graphic design um, skills and my um, my passion for illustration and for watercolor. So I wanted to bring those two together. And this master degree in surface design was the second time they were doing it here in Spain. This was a long time ago. So. It was, it was a very, I'm not gonna say new, but it wasn't uh, in like, in, in a big bomb, the, all the surface design and the print and pattern and, and all this world. So it was very um, appealing, you know, the idea, and I really liked it. So I've been doing that for, for all these years. And I also, because I'm a graphic designer, so sometimes I do, a special work as a as a graphic designer, like a special logo or a branding. That it was a very like complete um, five years of study. So I did a lot of different things, and at, towards the end, I was um, I learned you know really well the the software. You know, basically Photoshop, Illustrator, and so I came very, you know, familiar with the with the computer and the programs, but I always had this um, like uh, hmm, quest to to do things um, manually too. That really, it's my like my vibe, you know. That's what I, that that's what makes me happy. So I think it's like. Um, super 90% important right now in this career, you know, you need to, and if you don't know a new software, but you are already um, familiar with, you know, other design softwares, it's going to be easier. I feel like sometimes they, um, when people write me, they want like a special um, a magic potion, you know, like a, the magic equation to to be successful. And I don't think there's one, you know. Um, but what it's like, a hundred percent true is that you have to work, work, work. And um, it's not like, oh, I did a print and now I'm gonna share it everywhere and I'm just gonna stay there, you know, with two prints with some job that you, that you did. It's like a constant um, work in progress, you know. It's like an everyday, um, you know, practicing, discovering yourself, um, experimenting. If you want to be a textile designer and you want to have your portfolio online, I think you, should, you have to create a lot of material and then um, being able to choose the best ones. It's best to show five really, you know, things that you're proud of 
because you have worked like really hard um, instead of showing 30 images or you know a lot of work that you're not uh, proud of so It's always uh, from my my heritage, my childhood, my my life. You can find inspiration anywhere. You know, if you are if you have if you have your eyes open, um, you don't have to go out of your house to have to ins to be inspired by something. You know, it can be looking out the window, or it can be something that you have in in the in the in your house. It's something different than being creative. I mean. It doesn't mean that you are inspired, so you you are going to paint in that exactly in that exact moment. Maybe you are inspired by something that you see one afternoon, and then you you know a week after you remember that or how you felt, and you wanna experience that with your work. Uh, believe in yourself and believe in in the work that you do. I have. Being in situations, in a lot of situations where I, you know, can question myself and my work, and at the end, it's always my, you know, me believing in myself that have um, get me through all the situations. So, don't let anyone tell you what to do. You know, just um, work for what you want and and get it done. Sometimes it's you that it's like you know making things harder so just do it you know find a way and and do things i think it's really important to stop thinking all the time and just you know getting things done i have two things in my mind right now one one is um i want to to have my um my prints on on a bedding collection a lot of people ask me about this and I have done some bedding with um, a company for, from from the U.S., but they, it's like a POD. So it's I it's been great because I have seen my my designs on a actual you know bedding set. But I want to create my own collection. And the other thing I would say is that I want to to do an um an, I don't know how like a solo show for my illustrations because I'm doing um, like uh, very big paintings that I haven't shown and I'm like experimenting with that and this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time so I'm, I'm trying to get that done and when I get that I want to to have a show or something um, I don't know how because I keep thinking about how can you use this situation to uh, go virtual with a, a show, for example, and taking advantage of that and uh, also like reaching more people in all over the world, you know, um, not only in one city. So I would love to to work on that. Good luck and <laughs> thank you so much for, in, for inviting me and I hope that um, and then I said some interesting things for, for other artists and that I can help in a, in, in a little way.